Hello and welcome back to part, part five of our um, series of videos on assembling the um, electronic stop labels for your Hauptwerk organ. And in this final part, I'm just going to discuss briefly the way of interfacing your switches and LEDs, your stop switches um, and LEDs with the um, how, uh, with, with uh, the uh, PC that is running Hauptwerk. Now, in order to do this, the first thing to do is to note that you've got 60 illuminated stop switches here. Each illuminated stop switch has got a switch element, which is the micro switch. You're going to use the common connection, which is the one on top here, on top of the micro switch. And you're also going to use um, the uh, upper connection if you have two live connections there. Uh, one is normally closed and the other is normally open. You want to use the normally open one, which is usually the top one. So you've got the live there and the, uh, uh, the common there and the live there. I say live, the voltages are exceedingly low. <laughs> There's no electrical hazard that you can possibly encounter in dealing with this work because the voltages are only 5 volts and 3.3 volts. So they're perfectly safe. So um, uh, that, that, deal, that is the switch element. It, it, so each of these assemblies have got the switch element, which is the micro switch, and then the LED element. And the LED is connected, as I actually mentioned previously, the LED is connected through these two connections which are on the side of the assembly. One of them will be the positive of the LED and the other will be the negative. And if you've done the connections correctly, the positive will be on the coloured side of the micro switch and the negative will be on the uh, body side, the black side of the micro switch. Now, the thing about that is that the, it, when you assemble these for connection to your MIDI decoder, you need to know a little fact about the decoder. Is it common positive or common negative? All the ones I use are all common positive. And what that means is that all the positive connections of the LEDs running down here, they all have to be commoned and connected to the common in the decoder. Now, this is how we arrange that. What we do is we make up a chain link like this, a chain link of spade connectors. You have to connect them to these um, spade connectors here, right? And you need an equal number of blue ones and red ones. I'm showing you blue ones. <laughs> Actually, for this, it's common positive that we're dealing with. So these would be red that you should be connecting up. But you make these chains by soldering them together, soldering the spade connectors together, right, just a short length, they need to be 1.3 inches on each one. Um, you solder them together and then leave a nice long lead at the end for connecting uh, into the rest of the system. So what you do is you take that and uh, to connect up a series of commons, reds for the LEDs and blues for the switches. Uh, these are blue, so I'm going to connect them to the switches. This is what you do. You just put them on to there, like that, and they should click on like that one did. If they're loose, then you can always use your pliers and tighten them. If they're tight, that one's a little bit tight, but it's gone on. If they're too tight, do the opposite. Get a, a thin blade screwdriver and separate the jaws of the... Um, uh, of the spade switches, the spade connectors a little bit. And I've connected several of these on there like that. Okay. Uh, that's there for the switches. You have to go through and connect. I the, the manual instruction to make them in sets of 20. So you have 20 for the inner, 20 for the middle, and 20 for the outer. Um, I've just connected a few of those. There's 20 there to connect all the way up there. Then you need to make another set of 20 for the inner and another set of 20 for the outer. Okay. Now there is room. There's, there is plenty of room to do all that. Um, so you can do it. 
Okay. So that's one thing. Now then, you've, I've done that for the switches. You have to then do that for the LED commons. Remember, they'll have red. They'll require red um, uh, spades, always assuming that you're common positive on your decoder. The switches connect to the encoder because the switches tell Halpwerk that you've pressed the switch. That requires an encoder to encode that message. The LEDs connect to a decoder because the decoder must receive a message from uh, Houtwerk uh, which identifies an, uh, a, 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 a specific number and to light that particular LED, which of course, if everything's working properly, will coincide with the same number of the switch. Okay. Now let's uh, discuss the lives of these uh, connections. Because th these long chains are the commons, because they're all common. They're all connected in common. Now to deal with the lives, right, we need to make an assembly like this, which I call the Christmas tree. Because it looks a little bit like a Christmas tree. Um, this is two ribbon cables, right? And they're attached, they're stuck, one on top of the other. And the ribbon cables uh, have got uh, 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 20, each ribbon cable has got 20 cores along there. And what we've done is at 1.3 inch intervals, we've actually stripped the cores back. So we strip one core uh, for each switch and each LED. But the switch cores are on top, so they come from the upper cable, and the LED cores are on the bottom, they come from the bottom cable, and we've identified them by soldering on to here uh, uh, a red and a blue spade. And we know that the blue is going to the live of the LEDs because the, um, the because the 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 the, the blue uh, sorry the the LEDs need to have uh, their positive common so the live will be the negative so that's blue and the reds are going to the switches because we've common the um, is a common negative for the uh, uh, encoder and common positive for the decoder. That's for the kind of encoders and decoders that we use. But you may, if you'll be purchasing your own um, MIDI encoders and decoders uh, and you may have specified something different. Incidentally, we use either Orgautomatic uh, MIDI encoders and decoders. They're made by a gentleman called Christian Barnard in France. Or, um, we also have used in the past, um, we've used uh, MIDI Boutique encoders and decoders designed by um, uh, a chap who unfortunately died with COVID very recently, uh, Jordan Petrov, who founded and ran uh, MIDI Boutique. But, but the company is still going and, do, and making great components. So that's in Bulgaria. But you will find that uh, Christian Barnard's um, devices are a little cheaper, a little lower cost than, uh, than MIDI Boutique. But there we are. This is a Christmas tree connection. And what you do with this is you take it and first of all, you have to attach two insulation displacement sockets to the top end of, the, of, of each cable. That's a socket to connect to the encoder and that's a socket to connect to the decoder. And that will be at the top of the PCB, like this. We're going to put it in position there. Right. And when it's in position, a bit of a fiddle, but it can, it can easily be done there. When it's in position, they will be at the top let me bring that down so you can see where my finger is. These will be at the top of the PCB and the other end is at the bottom. And what you need to do is to take, there's, there's a pair of 
of wires from each side at each level and remember that the positive goes onto the switch which is in this case there and the negative goes on to the LED which in that case is there. So you connect each member of those that pair in exactly that same way. So we can connect uh, the we can connect the, um, the the red to the switch, which I've now done, and the blue to the LED, and it has to go onto that side there. And you just go through and connect those like that. You have to make up that cable, of course, although I can do them for you, but I would prefer you to do your own. Now, little hint here. I've actually attached, I've actually uh, arranged this Christmas tree ribbon cable after I've installed the PCB into the stock plate. I have my reasons for doing that in this demonstration because I didn't want to load you up with both sets of information at once. So what you should really do, the best thing to do, is I'll, I'll show you. Just one moment. The best way of doing it, in my opinion, is to take that Christmas tree cable and to take your um, PCB and this is the back of the PCB that's the sockets for the OLEDs put that on there like that bring these out and make sure they're all nice and neatly available and arranged for when you come to connect them and then tape tape that cable to the back of the PCB there and you will it you will find that it makes the whole thing rather easier to assemble so I advise you to do that right I have come to the end now of the construction part of the uh, video describing the electronic stop labels for your help vir virtual pipe organ um, there is an email address uh, uh, on the description of the video um, there's also an email address in the uh, uh, construction manual and there's an email address on the website um, so you can contact me if there's some part which is not clear watch it again watch it several times read the construction manual carefully several times before you even think about starting um, uh, there are enough photographs in the construction manual and there should be enough with these videos to enable you to get going and uh, get the construction underway so thank you very much for watching and I do hope that your um, electronic stock label project is as successful as mine's been and that you enjoy having this facility on your Hauptwerk organ of having those stock names appearing the moment you've loaded a new organ. Thank you very much indeed for watching.